Hello, everyone. It's a light day today, uh, November 2nd edition of the community call. Um, we have five of us, small but mighty group. Uh, we do have a light agenda, so that will be good. And I will just, I think everybody's seen this, but there's the agenda. If you could drop your name in there, it'd be great. Well, and we can go ahead and start on the agenda. Let me share my screen. I may interrupt for just a moment. Um, Georg said he made it and he's on his way to the member summit right now. Awesome. Go, Georg. Okay, so here we are. Um, we only had a couple of things from last time that I don't even know if we can really talk about because nobody's here <laughs> who we would talk about it with. So. Um, I know Nicole is really interested in talking about this uh, chaos brand kit, um, but I don't really want to continue that conversation without her since she's the one that is um, passionate about that and has some thoughts. Um, but I'm wondering, since this meeting kind of is hard for her schedule, I wonder if I should just open an issue in the community repo. Maybe we can continue this async. Yeah, Matt says a thumbs up. Okay. Let me just put an action button me. I just, I don't want it to get lost in the shuffle, you know? Um. All right, cool. And then anybody who has thoughts on it can just drop them in that. It'd be a little easier, I think. And I don't know why it doesn't like assign. Oh, there we go. So I was like, why doesn't it assign me? And then it heard me and assigned me. So, all right. Uh, number two is the data privacy in metrics. And um, just to refresh everyone's memories, this is what we're talking about. Um, there are a few action items. Um, this is about putting something about um, PII, uh, personally identifiable information is what that stands for. Um, in the uh, metrics template and also on our checklist and just to keep it top of mind for us as we go through metrics um, to think about how someone using this metric um, needs to be aware of these issues in case it's not readily apparent. Um, and so this, I believe we were going to have the operations team, the, the newish to be formed. I don't know if they've actually formed yet. Um, the operations team to kind of look at this and make and implement these changes. So um, I have a, I put it up here, but um, I know Matt G was kind of spearheading that along with Yash and Ritik. So um, let's wait until they're on the call, I guess, to see what's going on with that. Cause I don't really know. I don't know if anybody else knows as well. So, all right. Um, I left a number three in case there were anything else that y'all wanted to bring up that maybe you missed in the past, we could go over it. If you did, if you weren't here last week, um, Sophia did provide some results and um, I opened an issue in the community repo with just like the bullet points of some suggestions that were made. So uh, if you're interested in that, you can go to the community repo and look. Otherwise, let's move ahead to our new items. So I don't know if you realized, but is, this is actually the first Tuesday of the month. So it should have been our monthly super special meeting that we do where we um, get updates from all the working groups and anything else, all the initiatives, anything else that's going on. Um, given that we only have five of us here, <laughs> I think it's probably smart to defer that until next week uh, when we have more people, so. That's what will happen or, next week. Or we can make all the decisions and then let others deal with it. So. <laughs> I like the way you think, right? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, is there, if there's anything that anybody wants to, uh, to, to make happen, let's do it. <laughs> right. I love that, that's funny. With, with the money we have in the community bridge, we're gonna send ourselves our expensive gifts and then- Yes. There you go. Yes. Yes, since we are not traveling, then I think we all should get something awesome. <laughs> Love it, it's great. 
Okay. <laughs> and it's in the agenda in the minutes, so it has to happen now. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. it's in writing. <laughs> Uh, okay, um, this is uh, number two is a reminder about the time zones. Uh, I know that some parts of Europe uh, have switched for, for um, daylight savings, some haven't, some won't. Same thing in the US, some won't change when we, it's time to change. It's just uh, time zones are horrible things, horrible things. So this is your reminder that all chaos meetings just align with the US Central Chicago time zone. So for you personally, it might change. Um, so just be aware of that. A Slack, as I found out, will um, automatically adjust. Uh, oh, I'm getting a phone call. Hold on. Uh, will automatically adjust the uh, the note that it the reminder that it posts in the general channel um, to your time zone. So you can always just be in Slack, and it will let you know what's going on that day. Or there's a link here if you want to do your conversion and add it to your calendar as well. So, any questions about that? Comments. All right, moving on ahead very quickly. This is going to be like the shortest meeting ever. <laughs> it's great. Just a comment. Uh, <laughs> like, is there any possibility on the Slack we get the reminders, but we get the reminders like today there's no meeting, today there's no meeting. Is there any way around that we just get reminder for the meeting, not no meeting? There isn't. I looked at that. Um, it's a limitation of the plugin. Um, where it just runs and it doesn't let you say to turn it off if there aren't. So sorry. Yep. Okay. I don't know if it's an open source plugin, but if it is, maybe you can write that in there. But not <laughs> since that's something we want to happen. Because I agree, it's kind of annoying when you see that notification and then you're like, oh, the notification is that there are no no notifications today. <laughs> like, <laughs> thanks. Appreciate that. Um, okay. Any other questions about the time zone stuff? All right. Moving ahead. Uh, I just want to bring this up. In um, the DEI working group, we've been talking a lot about onboarding and um, improving that process and that experience for people. Um, we needed a better way to kind of gauge interest and, and collect um, collect information about people who have expressed an interest because we don't really have anything right now. You know, people might show up to a meeting because um, they, they're just curious and they want to be interested or they might be interested in participating. Um, but there wasn't really a way for anyone to kind of formally like indicate their interest in, uh, in participating. So um, we just have this form that we developed and I will click on that so y'all can see what it looks like. Um, it's just pretty straightforward name, email, and then it just gives some like ideas of places where people could contribute. And um, this is super rudimentary. It's not, um, you know, very complicated. Uh, so it's just like a starting point really, because we don't have anything right now. Uh, we are gonna eventually put this on the website, um, but for now I was thinking maybe I would just tweet it out, maybe put it in Slack in the mailing list, newsletter, that kind of stuff. And then eventually we can get it on the website. I think um, Matt, can you correct me if I'm wrong? Were you working on like a landing page? Is that right? Did I remember that correctly? Yeah, as far as onboarding goes, I was working on a page that just centralizes what do you want to do? And then you click on what you want to do and then it brings you to that part of the page. So before I send this out, um, is that does this page kind of align with what your vision was for your page like is it going to conflict or like i don't want to oh know. no I, th that page is more like self-serve this is more like reaching out i think okay. I, I think i could learn a lot from my page from just looking at all the different things on here <laughs> okay cool um yeah a couple of us worked on this in the dei working group um so uh it has been seen by a couple of people and um, then I would be the person to reach out if anybody's curious about that. And if there's, you know, a huge influx of volume, then we'll sort that out. But um, that way we can kind of like make that like one on one connection with someone who's interested, but maybe not sure of like what they want to do or, or anything like that. So um, so yeah. that is something that we'll do then. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. 
No, I mean, this looks great. I, I didn't know this was happening, but it looks great. I'm just adding some comments. Uh, it might be okay. helpful to add links to, um, because this is targeted for people that are coming in new, right? Like we Correct. might want to add some links in the form to like a chaos cast in case people don't know what that is or DEI badging, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I think that would be helpful. So I just added that those notes and on, on chaos con option or, or chaos cast option, um, do we want to also include not just organizing, but being a panel member on the chaos cast, right? I mean, maybe they don't want to be a coordinator. They don't want to do like other uh, logistical stuff, but maybe they have something interesting they want to share on, on the webcast. Uh, so maybe being a uh, proposing a topic a or, yeah, yeah. or being a guest. So, Ooh, that's a great idea. Yeah. I but really other like that than one. that, it, it looks great. I think it's pretty complicated comprehensive so okay cool um i will put an action item in nobody has seen this yet outside of chaos people like i haven't posted right. it anywhere so it's not too late to absolutely make any changes i really really like these a lot good thank you so much ray but thanks for doing this um one other comment i have is for the sake of anonymity could we give an option to use a github username instead of a real name Yes, perfect, absolutely. Uh, let me put this here under a number two. Oh, you already have that in there. Okay, perfect. Sign me, yay. Thanks everybody. Was there anything else on here? I didn't really put anything about like, I don't know, like marketing or like branding or anything like that. I do have design somewhere, design elements. So I guess it kind of would fall under that. Yeah, that's probably okay. And you know, we can obviously change this. If someone is adding other, then we can obviously change it. Not a biggie. So thanks everybody, that's great. Oh, I'm excited. Um, that is the end of our agenda today. <laughs> so um, what else do you guys wanna talk about? I have one other thing to backtrack on uh, as far as the time zone stuff goes. Yeah. I think there's uh, there are opportunities to, to share time zones in, uh, in a more efficient way that people don't have to type things in. Or, um, so I, I found a thing, a really cool tool called Every Time Zone. It's a little overwhelming at first look, but then like you look at it a little more and it, if you put the meeting time into this, then it'll basically, people will find their time zone and be able to find their time zone and figure out where their time, or it'll say their local time as well at the very top if they don't want to do all that. But um it's just an automatic system kind of thing that there's a lot of tools like this. There's, a, there's actually a lot of tools that look just like this, but it might be useful to have some kind of link that someone can just click on and say, oh, this is what it is in my local time. That's really cool. This looks like it would be helpful as well if you're trying to schedule a meeting with people, trying to find something that's not, you know, awful. Yeah, it helps me become more time inclusive to look at tools that are like, Use, useful to look at every time zone. Yeah, that's great. Um, as an aside, uh, this might be a helpful reference in that metric that we have that is inclusive time zones for events. That's true. <laughs> that's very true. So yeah, I don't know if, I think we, we already released that one, but maybe next time we can add that as a reference if you want. I don't know, it's really cool. I like it. Thanks, Matt. Um, also, I don't know why this is one, two, three, three. I didn't, I, I don't know why that didn't work, but it's all right. I'll go with it. Um, what else do y'all want to talk about? We have tons of time. Is there something that's been on your mind that we haven't gotten a chance to talk about? I got nothing. I'm, I'm decloaking just to say that. 
<laughs> I, I promised to work on models. I made a kind of bletcherous mess of one last week. I promised to fix that and do one more. I'm promising this in public. I'm saying it out loud. So I hope you all have very short memories. I 100% do. Yeah. yeah I'm you. not I'm that friend that you can you can tell anything to or do anything with because I literally won't remember like 3 days from now. So, yeah. 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 You're a very good friend. The, the ones who actually are paying attention are, are dangerous. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, okay, so we'll we'll trust that you're gonna hold yourself accountable for that because I don't I don't know that we will do that for you, Lucas. But um, yeah, appreciate that. Appreciate you uh, speaking up and at least you know committing to that. So thank you. Anything else we want to talk about while we have time? All right, well, y'all can have a bunch of time back today and I hope you use it wisely or, you know, just go like take a walk outside or something. That's also a wise use of time, I think. Um, anyway, have a great rest of your day, everybody. We'll go ahead and close this meeting and um, yeah, that's it. Right. Thanks, fast and efficient. <laughs> See y'all later. Bye. Bye. Bye.